the other day I came across this medium article that said stop using else statements in your code. This is not the first time I'm seeing an article like this. In fact if you do some research you'll find a bunch of other medium articles like stop using if else statements, don't use else, how to prevent using if else statements in your code, try to code without if statements and write code that's more readable, scalable and maintainable. This could have been anything but this one is about conditional statements. If you're a software developer, if else statements is a really useful tool and it's very often than not difficult to imagine how you can just stop using them. In this video, I'm going to give you techniques on how to avoid else statements in your code. So let's find out. Whenever you're writing a software application, you'll come across situations where you have to write operations on a conditional basis. Basically, you tell the system to do a particular operation if a condition is met and some other operation if the condition is not met. Sometimes you have to do evaluations on multiple conditions before choosing a single operation. Pretty useful, right? Suppose you're writing a function to return a message after evaluating if a candidate can be considered for a job interview. Firstly, say you want to check if the candidate has the right academic grades. For now, we'll call it academic percentage. If the percentage is greater than 60, the candidate can be considered. Otherwise, we'll just return academic percentage is not enough. You could do the same for considering the experience and as well as the skill set and if the candidate is available for immediate joining. This may not look very complex now, but if you're a software developer, you would most likely have to write or maintain code having a lot more complex logic. And if this is how you structure your if else statements, you would most likely end up with code that looks like this. I really can't tell if the worst part of this code is the number of conditions or the fact that it's written in PHP. So else conditions are bad, but how do I rewrite this code without it? The ideal way to deal with scenario that I mentioned before is to use guard clauses. Guard clauses are basically if conditions that you write at the beginning of a function. Based on this condition, the program decides if the function should return at this point or whether the rest of the function is to be executed hence the name guards. Imagine a user is trying to watch their favorite TV show from their favorite streaming service. And you have a function that lets them access the video, but you still need to validate a few things before you can show them the video. Has the user logged in? This can be a guard clause at the beginning of the function that returns, you need to sign in to watch this video. Does the user have a premium membership? This could be the next guard clause. Upgrade to premium to watch this video. Notice how guard clauses does not have an else statement. Using guard clauses in your code is not about increasing the efficiency of the code. It's a good choice if you're dealing with complex logic where it's possible to apply this. They tend to make the code very clean and even if you end up having to make changes like adding a new clause to the function, it will probably not require all your 15 brain cells to operate at the same time. So if I apply guard clauses to the scenario about the candidate and the job interview, it will look like this, which is so much better. However, there are situations where guard clauses does not work for your logic. In this case, you should definitely utilize the properties of else statements. It's also worth mentioning that Apple introduced guard functionality in Swift programming language. And you could also see guard mechanism in languages like Rust as well. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider subscribing to this channel. I will be making a follow-up video on a related topic about how to avoid if conditions in your code as well. If you would like to be notified of that, please click the notification bell icon. See you soon.